you so stick around but right about now last monday we had a very interesting interview on women in film awards and we it was it was fantastic it was well put together so we followed that up on wednesday evening uh, which was a ladies night and we went to the kenya national theater to attend the women in film awards and we prepared we prepared an amazing amazing piece for you you know just in case you missed it or just in case you're a woman in film and you're wondering where are my fellow women or are women really making it or you are even considering you know considering to be a woman in film and you're wondering how it looks like this will give you the perfect picture or you watched our show on monday and you're wondering how did women in film awards go down on wednesday that is what we prepared this is what we prepared for you so take a look gentlemen we are here at the women in film awards edition three i cannot believe it is already edition three i mean doesn't look like a year has passed by since we came for the edition two but yes we are here and stunning women ready women hard-working women courageous women are being celebrated tonight and i couldn't be more excited there are a lot of categories way more than what went down in the second category so i'm looking forward i'm excited for all the winners so all the nominees a big congratulations to all of you remember you are all winners the fact that you have been nominated already means you're a winner so relax and actually enjoy the event ladies and gentlemen no more time to waste let us get in enjoy WIFA edition 3 and of course come back here and tell you about the winners and how they are feeling right after the event <laughs> How are you feeling? Nervous, excited, anxious, as in it's just a mixture of so many feelings. Yeah, I know, but you are looking great. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Yes. Uh, what category have you been nominated for? Uh, TV producer. Yes. yes. TV producer, that's yes. such a big, okay, I, I get, I get the intensity of yes. how you're feeling. Yes. How, are you, how are you wishing to fare? Um, I mean, I believe I am a winner, whether I do get the award or not. The fact that I was just actually nominated, there's so many beautiful, hardworking women in our our country yes. and so for me being a nominee that's victorious by itself so I'm, I'm excited nonetheless yes you're here to support fellow women I am actually one of the juries yes. Ooh, how, how are you feeling about that you have to select between very talented oh bunch my of God, that is, it was really really hard but we had so much material that was sent in so much like amazing women who've been nominated and it's just nice to know that women actually are out there that you know, making and film and they're doing great stuff exactly. and it's good stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um, the, you are looking very nice. I like the, the African in your dress. Who, who inspired that? Uh, let me say, <laughs> do I use myself? Because I'm my own brand and this is what I use. I'm always like this, by the way. Yes. Uh, not just because yes. it, it, today is an event. No, 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 no. Yes. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling to be in WIFA Edition 3? Yeah, these are awesome, awesome, awesome experience. I've been here, the first one, the second one. This time, actually, I'm a jury. Yes. Yeah, it's, a, it's an honor. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Actually, I always tell Susan, yeah, I am behind some point because this, this was one awesome idea to come up with. Yes. Amazing. What category have you been nominated for? I've been nominated for Best Child Actress. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling nervous? No, I'm feeling very, very confident. Mm -hmm. I am very confident you will win. When did you start acting? I started at around 2020. Yeah. And um, I never actually knew it was for acting. I just thought it was for something that was going to appear like on a small TV show. Yeah. And then it blew up on, on your face. I like. I like that. Um, how are you feeling being here with all these amazing women, some celebrities? How are you feeling? I'm feeling like it's a dream come true. Yeah. Because. 
like my younger self would be like looking if she saw the future she'd be like wow yeah. hi one you're looking very smart thank you so much inspired by who la kesho designs she's an amazing woman and actually she's been nominated tonight so yeah so you you are feeling like a winner tonight like a winner tonight yes i am i am not nominated tonight but they're screening a film that i've done the creature yes and also presenting an award so i'm really excited Ooh, amazing i am looking for how do you feel about wifa in general in general i've been here since the first edition this is the third edition and so far there's been amazing growth so far so good i can't wait to just see all those women filmmakers here tonight and just let's celebrate ourselves ah amazing ah uh, good evening how are you feeling i'm feeling great yes. i want you to quickly introduce yourself your ladies so that we can do this oh so we are just i'm just an worker from divine day studios and these are our actors here we have come today at women in film awards to represent us amazing ladies how are you feeling to be in women in film awards i feel great i feel honored so it's my first time here i'm feeling so excited a lot yeah there are great women gathered here and we are celebrating women remember tuesday was international women's day so what is your message to women yeah. oh, i can encourage women to continue being strong and to be bold i would i would like to tell all the women that they should continue with what they like like their interests and everything that they want like they don't have to fear like this is not our work this is not our job it's for the men no no this time it's not that way the women must you know stand for them <laughs> yes, otherwise how are you feeling this evening attending wifa um i'm happy to be here i appreciate being you know, being invited to this very auspicious occasion celebrating women filmmakers in Kenya because for a very long time you know uh, men have been dominating the film a screen in many regards but now we have you know a lot of women coming up as directors as producers playing other roles within film so we are happy to celebrate women yes and we are also in the mood and in the week of celebrating international women's day who would you like to celebrate and what is your message to them who would they like to celebrate a woman that you would like to celebrate and your message to them <laughs> that's a tough one um i celebrate all the women <laughs> in Kenya no one in particular but i uh, just all the women for being very resilient women have gone through a lot in this country and um, a lot is changing courtesy of their boldness so we are happy that they are able to express themselves and also that uh, you know the, the society and the government has open space for women to be able to achieve whatever they want yes what is the future looking like for the film industry in general actually there's a lot of potential uh, for the film industry in Kenya uh fast because there are many institutions now teaching film as uh, secondly there's a lot of interest in uh, local content yes and um the 60% rule actually um, will also help in terms of uh, generating more uh, content and that way more people will be interested actually in uh, in uh, in the film industry because you, you can be able to make a living out of out of this yeah yes so how are you feeling this evening oh excited excited because i love film yes. generally yeah you are looking good in red who inspired that <laughs> my roommate yes. she wow. dressed me yes. karen kibet <laughs> we see you we see yeah. you i mean you have come to support a fellow woman how are you feeling about women in the industry currently they are doing amazing they are doing amazing when it comes to script writing producing videography i think we have more to achieve as women yeah. and film we women should be known and recognized in film exactly yeah. are you feeling about wifa organizing such an event for women I came for the first one ever yes. back then when they started yes. and I was I was very happy about it mm -hmm. and I, I and I told myself I hope one day I'll be nominated yes. <laughs> and and you will be you might just find yourself in the fourth edition over there and I will vote for you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much because I also do script writing mm -hmm. and I also act yes. so I'm, I'm looking forward for the future yeah. in uh, film yes. for women exactly yeah. how are you feeling this evening I'm feeling great I'm a bit nervous yeah. but yeah i feel great you are looking good who inspired the dress oh, 
now I'm inspired the dress but my designer just came up with the idea and yeah it looks amazing I love it exactly it is making you look amazing in what category have you been nominated uh, best makeup artist yeah. yeah and you are looking fabulous if, if the makeup you do is like the one done on you you are, you are definitely going to carry that home how are you feeling about that nomination um, yeah again I'm a bit nervous because the same the, the category has like very strong people people who are really good in their job and I'm humbled to be nominated and I can't wait to see who wins hi how are you I'm fine what's your name Angel Atiello. Amazing, that's a beautiful name. You are looking good and your dress is looking fantastic. Who inspired that dress? Huh? Who inspired that dress? Um, my mom. Is she the one who has brought you here? Yeah. How are you feeling about tonight? Are you excited? How are you feeling about all these people? I'm excited but I'm a bit nervous. Why are you nervous, my dear? Uh, because of there's a lot of people here and I'm not used to it. Yeah. Be here tonight. Good, great. It's a nice feeling. I mean, it's, um, it's a nice festival, the right time. Uh, this is the second or third edition. Third edition. Amazing stuff. So I'm really happy to be here. What are you feeling about women? Like to mean that all these awards and categories are is work being done by women in film. How do you feel women are faring on in the film industry? I mean, it's a big step. It's a big step considering that uh, previously the film industry was mainly saturated by men. But here we are having a Women Film Awards organized by women. I mean, it, it can't get any better, yeah? Amazing. yeah. Know, right? we, just, uh, we just celebrated International Women's Day. Which yeah. woman are you celebrating and what my are you wife. like? Uh -huh. My wife. She's the most amazing woman yeah. ever. <laughs> She's the most beautiful, most intelligent. So, and of course my mom. So those two like mean everything to me. Yeah, Dr. Susan, how are you feeling this evening? I am so excited. I am so excited. We've had 2022 once again. We are able to set up the women filmmakers and women filmmakers who have persisted. Women of character, women of courage, women of commitment. We are so happy for today. Yeah. Do you feel like you have been fulfilled the dream that you had for edition three? Oh yes, oh yes. As in this edition shows that indeed uh, the world or Kenyans, they are really celebrating women filmmakers. Uh, if you just walk inside, you can see that that hall is full. Yeah, and even uh, celebrities uh, within the acting industry, they are here, and we are so excited. Yes. Um, how are you feeling? Because you are in the nomination process, seeing the votes come in, seeing men, women stand in and vote for women. How are you feeling? women are faring in the industry I think other than pushing themselves yeah. to do the, 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 the one thing they love the most I also love the fact that also women are supporting each other yeah that whole thing that that, that you say that you should be your sister's keeper this is exactly what you are seeing here today yeah, yeah. are you moving closer to the dream that you had about WIFA when you started it yes because every year we want to celebrate women filmmakers and we don't want this to be a one year two year three years. So I can guarantee you that 2023 will be here, 2025 we will be here, we will keep celebrating women filmmakers, we will keep finding out different ways of empowering women filmmakers and celebrating uh, women filmmakers. And one thing I like about the fact that we have come is that many uh, even uh, uh, organizations, they are seeing what women filmmakers are doing and I also believe that moving forward we will have also organizations that are going to come on board and they are going to give, uh, let's say, fat to women filmmakers and in different categories. Yes. Yeah. Now that you situated this right in the middle of International Women's Day and celebration of women, what's your message to women filmmakers and a woman in general? Let's break the bias. Because you're special to me, I want you to introduce yourself. Tell us your name before we get it. So my name is Grace Masi Morodi. Yes. 
I am the WIFA Awards Manager. Exactly. You have done such a fantastic job. How are you feeling that it has come together? Oh, I'm so happy. Even seeing people is just amazing. I'm so, so great. I'm happy and glad. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference between this edition three and the previous two editions that have been? Okay. So the difference is mainly the people. You can see their new faces. Exactly. We have new, new categories like digital content. Yes. We have best producer human rights. We have best producer documentary. We have a kids category. And you see, like last time we didn't have kids and now you can see, you know, young young females in the in the event. So it's really different from last time. Yes. Yeah. What, what has excited you the most? I know you have been involved from the scratch in the planning. What did you see come together and you were like, this one I liked? I like the synergy of the team. Yes. I like how everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing. Of course, as an awards manager, that's like my main thing. So I'm really happy that things are really flowing. Yes. Yeah. I, I like that. Tonight, you have in your bag, what don't you miss? I never miss my phone. I feel like my phone is just my my workplace. Yes. Yeah, so definitely my phone. You work, you work from your phone? Yes. yes. Amazing. I like that. What is the one thing that you want people to take home from WIFA Edition 3? You know, even as you try on, you know, working on Edition 4, what is the one lesson you want people to get from Edition 3? Yeah. Okay. So look at the camera. Okay. So uh, I'd like people to know that women are there yeah. and women are working yeah. and it's important that you give someone work not because they're a female but because of the work they they show and they have yeah. so let's embrace uh, filmmakers and let's let's not be you know biased well I am quite short hi guys <laughs> and the winner for the best costume designer is Ruth Mayinki The best sound designer are Ayana Gitao, Daisy Nduta, and Moinadi Juma. And the winner is Daisy Nduta. Congratulations! Hi everyone. Um, thanks for everyone who voted. Thanks for the people who nominated me. And I think one thing that I noticed is our category only had three women and every other category had five. So that's an indicator of something. So um, yeah, let's try and give more women jobs if you're not giving women jobs. Uh, the people who are qualified and let's create more films and let's get to know each other. Thank you. Hi everybody. I'm so glad that this is a real category and I'm so proud of everyone. The best makeup artist is Elizabeth Gadero. <laughs> At Kenya Film Commission, as well, our chairperson is a woman who works in the film industry. So this is just to confirm the importance on women taking up critical roles of making a difference in our society. Kenya Film Commission, as an institution under the Ministry of ICT, is committed to empowering women, and we continue coming up with the critical programs that are geared towards supporting women ventures the film empowerment program, the capacity building uh, workshops that we undertake, we not only focus on men, but we focus on all genders. Lastly, allow me to also congratulate those who have supported this particular event. Uh, I won't be able to mention any name apart from Multi-Choice Talent Factory, my own organization, Kenya Film Commission, the Ministry of ICT, among others for making this happen. We want to reiterate our commitment that we will continue empowering filmmakers in all ways and let's work together. Thank you very much.
So allow me now to take this opportunity to request each one of us to be upstanding as I invite our chief guest, Madam Esther Koimet, to come and speak to us. It's really, really wonderful to see each one of us tonight, all these beautiful ladies doing great things for our country. You know, normally we write speeches and we say it gives me great pleasure. And it's how, you know, it's how it's done in, in government a lot of the time. But I want to, to say today it actually truly gives me great pleasure to be here and to be with you people. Film has had a huge impact on society, not just as a vehicle for entertainment, but also as a source of knowledge, inspiration, and change through the stories they tell and the images they capture. Film also provides myriad employment opportunities, boosting economies through forward and backward linkages to other sectors. Filming impacts positively on Kenya's tourism, transport, and manufacturing sectors, among many others. Today, we can look back at pioneer women filmmakers who blazed the trails from the 1980s and marvel at how much they, have, they had to overcome to sit at the filmmaking table. Filmmakers such as Domi Yambo Odote, June Monene, the late Asha Kibibi, Annie Mungai, Christine Bala had to overcome numerous societal obstacles, um, technological ch challenges, uh, such as filming on celluloid film, which had to be processed in a laboratory, and also entering a male-dominated uh, career, which meant unspoken entry barriers, among other obstacles. Nevertheless, they persisted and they opened the doors for the next generation of women filmmakers in the early 2000s, such as Frankie Ashiruka, Jerry Carago, Christine Savin, uh, Wanuri Kaihio, Judy Kibinge, among others. Um, again, the second generation of filmmakers persisted despite the challenges thrown their way. Productions such as Dangerous Affair, Banjeri Karago, and Waridi TV were ma ma must watch films by this generation of filmmakers. We shall forever be grateful to these gallant ladies for, for venturing um, out in a time when women were rare in the sector and opening up a path uh, for upcoming youth to follow. Now, more than ever before, more and more women are joining the industry, bringing vibrancy and helping to create films that are representing Kenya at the local, regional, and even international fora. Let me now take this opportunity to congratulate tonight's winners, Hongera Sana. And to wish all our filmmakers, all of them, the men and the women, success as they tell our stories to the world. Okay, uh, the most influential woman personality is Dr. Anne Mungai. And all the professional women filmmakers, looking around to see who this lady is. <laughs> but I thank you and appreciate you. And I'm so happy to see the chief guest. She was my boss. When I was working the Ministry of Information, doing films, and she was a great supporter until, yeah, Professor Mukubi, who is here, watched me from the Ministry to Kenyatta University. Women are powerful people. Yeah. She persisted, eh? She persisted until I was born. Yeah, I can also do a poetry. 
and also she bought me my first camera to start Talanta Institute. Let's clap for my mom. And my wife, Dr. Caroline, she's over there. So, and the winner for the best location sound recordist is Diana Cairo. Congratulations, Diana Makofi. Hey guys, you never walk alone. I had to say that first. Um, I want to thank God for keeping me alive and to boom swing operate is a hard job for a lady. Um, so, yeah, I want to thank God, I want to thank my parents, yes, and I have three kids. My coffee! Uh, let's appreciate her once more. And I have to say I'm really honoured, <laughs> sorry, um, I'm excited about this. I'm really honoured to be presenting the kids category, let me tell you why. Little short story, when you see this young, beautiful people discovering themselves and discovering their dreams, you know that that was you one day. I was once on a stage like this, someone saw me and said, this one, this one will make it. So anytime you see that little girl trying, that little boy trying, push them, because they might be the next Lupita, they might be the next Denzel, they might be the next you, because all of you here are amazing. The best actress kids category goes to Angel Achie. Uh, let's appreciate her. Congratulations, hey, Angel hey. Achie. Let's appreciate her. Wow, wow, wow. wow. This is beautiful, eh? Yeah? Um, can we sing? <laughs> With no proof anyone could hear In our hearts of hope For song we barely understood Now we are not afraid Although we know there's much to fear We were moving mountains long Before we knew we could Oh, yes there can be miracles when you believe. Though hope is frail, it's hard to kill. Who knows what miracles you can achieve when you You all look amazing, and uh, I'm very honored to present uh, this, this award, also being a cinematographer here, and understanding the role it takes uh, to be an actual cinematographer. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so the best cinematographer award goes to Gash Wanjira. Straight into it. Hey. The best actress, TV drama, Jackie Matu. <laughs>
10 years of waiting. I just want to appreciate everyone that we were nominated with. It was, it was tough. But each and every person over here is a best actor, actress, etc. Yeah? Uh, I would like to thank um, Lulu Hassan and Rashid Abdallah for giving me the opportunity to play the role Nana. It was amazing. And I would also like Home. I'd like to uh, thank Mr. for believing in me when I did not believe in myself. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Wow, wow. The best digital content creator is Lynn Googie. Congratulations, Lynn Googie. edition three and boy has it been fun i have been excited the whole time about the new categories that they have actually made you know about the new categories that have been there the kids category and i i have been so excited by the guys that have won of course by the ladies that have won they have shown significant amount of work amount of of actually putting in the work the courage they have shown despite covid despite any every Thing and anything they actually persisted and that has been the highlight of WIFA or Women in Film Edition 3. I cannot wait to see the next edition. I am so excited like you have seen the ladies who are beautifully dressed. They were ready to do this. They had put in the work. They had put on the makeup and ready to celebrate and enjoy the evening. That is it from Women in Film Edition 3. I have definitely enjoyed this one. See you guys on the next one. That was just a snippet, guys, just a 30-minute snippet of what happened in Women in Film Awards. And it was absolutely, it was absolutely amazing, fantastic. We met with some great women in the film industry, women who are, you know, women who are doing the work and being celebrated for the work they are doing. Of course, the highlight of the day for me was definitely the kid actresses. They, they were fun. They were a lot of fun. Then they have such amazing voices. I cannot wait to see them in a film where they actually get to sing, honestly, because they have voices of angels. I definitely loved that. I loved their unity even as, as they won. Like all of them came on up to stage and actually performed together. And that was fantastic. Of course, some big, big names in the industry went and attended the Women in Film Awards, including Jackie Matubia, Kate Actress. You can see them. Wix Maguda was actually present as well. They, they were fantastic. The ladies were fantastic. And of course, we cannot forget Dr. Susan Gitimu who put all that together and it came out beautifully. Congratulations Daktari, you did well. I cannot wait to see what WIFA Edition 4 will be all about. I am elated and excited. Of course, credits to our camera team, our camera crew. They came in and they have given you guys a feel of how it felt to be there. Uh, Gikiri Ed. Gikiri Ed was there heading the team with Maureen Gasheri and Dennis Kanyeki. You guys are fantastic. You have made us see how it was. I felt like I was back there so I know you guys did a really, really amazing job. And of course, over on the, over the leadership of our producer Ryan Ngure, you guys did an amazing, amazing job. It was fun fantastic to be there. It was easy and it was amazing i hope you guys have enjoyed watch out for wifa edition 4 including being nominated you know you never know if you're a woman in film watch out look out for wifa edition 4 and you are going to